Hey there everyone, I'm back again with another video. I know it's been a little while, I haven't been playing, barely at all, kind of waiting for PoE 2, but I decided I was going to actually follow through with the videos I'd planned to make, and here we are again with another crafting video. I know it's a bit of a niche subject, not everyone's going to be playing my build, but hopefully some people might still find it kind of useful. So in this video, I'm going to go forward and I'm going to do the crafts that I use for my gloves and boots. Now, if you checked out my build guide and see what I'm using, I actually changed my boots later on. But anyone that's attempted to do the build that I'm doing will understand that putting the boots that I use on in the end game is rather difficult. And up until that point, you want to be using boots like I'm going to be crafting here. So hopefully people find this interesting. A few disclaimers here. One, I refuse to do fossil crafting. I don't like buying fossils. I don't like using fossils. And I definitely don't like farming fossils. So I absolutely refuse to do any kind of fossil crafting stuff. And secondly, this isn't going to be mirror tier, everything perfect for the mirror shop. This is reasonable, expectable, easily kind of crafted stuff with like guaranteed outcomes pretty much that a lot of people sleep on. I mean, when I finished using my old boots, for example, fairly early into the into the league, or even later on, I've sold a couple of pairs, people will pay like 20 to 30 divines for the outcomes that we're gonna make here, maybe even more depending on the league. And it's just super simple and easy to make. So without any more, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Right, so I'm gonna start off with the boots now. now Anyone that has watched my videos or has seen my build will notice that in the end game I change over to a unique pair of boots. Uh, however, it's kind of unpractical and a lot of people that may have copied me will find out this the hard way that unless you really have the regeneration and a re reduced regeneration damage or reduced dot damage or maximum fire res all the way up to the highest point, you can't run the unique pair of boots that I run. The degen will literally kill you. And so up until that point, you're kind of stuck using rare boots. Now, boots are crafted in pretty much the same way as the gloves. And you'll see that when I get to the gloves. But I just wanted to point that out because until you do get to a point where you can self-sustain using the unique boots, you're basically going to be using Leviathan Greaves. Now, these are the new uh, boots base that was introduced with the most recent uh, patch or not patch, but uh, league. And it's basically your super physically defensive ones. And you're going to want physical defense because you're going to be being hit a lot. So pretty much everyone is going to be wanting these. Now, when I craft my boots, I do it kind of... I have a preference because I don't like um, messing around too much trying to get uh, increased maximum life on my stuff. Uh, I like to just have it guaranteed and it makes the craft kind of easier. There's not a whole lot more on here that is actually even worth um, fracturing. Now in tier one increased max life on this kind of boots base can be anything between one to four divines, at least when I made mine. Um, the alternative that you could prefix or you could um, fracture, sorry, would be uh, increased life regeneration rate. Now these can be up to like 10 divines plus, which is kind of annoying because then you have to craft on top of it as well. Um, it's essentially up to you whether you would rather, you know, fracture life and then roll life regeneration rate, which it has fairly high, uh, fairly high weight. Or if you wanted to basically, you know, go in with the life, which has fairly high weight rate, uh, weight, but it's less likely to end up being um, the tier that you want, right? So it, it's entirely up to you on that point. Now, with our boots, however, the suffixes are the main point of importance um, because prefixes can be rolled fairly easily, truth be told. It's just uh, a matter of how you want to go about it. So I'll get to that later on, actually. I'll, there's an option that you can have there. Um, so what we're going to basically be doing here is we want to get tier one chaos res. We want to get tier one of any resistance because we can use the harvest crafting table to change that resistance to fire. And 
we want to get increased life regeneration rate which again as i touched on you need this stat to basically self-sustain yourself especially earlier on in the league uh, when your character is a lot less developed or trying to you know get to a point where you can you can throw your boots aside you're going to need this somewhere on your gear um and people will pay a lot for having this this uh this mod on the gear so it's one of the the few suffixes that isn't a resistance is that people kind of really want there's not that much option for other stuff either <laughs> it is what it is right so how we go about crafting this well first off we're going to make it yellow so we can actually do stuff with it and then obviously we, obviously we need part one is we're going to be using uh deafening essence of envy and this is going to emulate rolling tier one chaos resistance perfect we do this instead of the elemental one, because as I said, if we get any elemental resistance, we can make it fire, which is the desired resistance for our build. Um, the only thing, you know, we can't change it to is chaos resist. So naturally, we will go start hitting it with the chaos resistance. And the goal here is to roll this until you get uh, a tier one. Well, you're obviously you're always going to have your tier one chaos resistance, but you want a tier one or maybe if you're feeling a. Uh, like you don't you don't care too much you want a tier two resistance of any other kind so we've got a tier two resistance of any other kind we can stop there for the sake of the video i'm not gonna grind it out in tier tier one it's a it's a matter of like three percent difference you can decide if that's important to you or not now you can see here it says lightning resistance we want fire resistance so we go over to our half harvest crafting bench we do the resistances and we want lightning to fire lightning to fire tap now we've got fire resistance now you can go back and forth between fire and lightning fire and lightning fire and lightning until you get the maximum 45 i'm not going to do that now though it's cheap it doesn't cost anything really so you know go nuts now the next part obviously we want our increased life regeneration rate now this is a bit of a gamble because i said we're basically trying to get a suffix here that's competing we're competing life per uh regenerate per second an increased life regeneration rate now if you already have increased life regeneration rate on your gloves and you're making this for yourself you can um probably get away with just having life regenerate per second if you want to be able to sell this for good value you're going to want to go for the life regeneration rate increase percentile and that's because it has more value than the, just the flat regeneration so we want this, and so how we're going to go about getting this is obviously we're going to craft prefixes cannot be changed. Now this is the probably the most expensive part of the entire craft, unless you use a Aisling orb later on. So we'll pop that on, All right? Suffixes cannot be changed. Our suffixes are safe. Our prefix, the only one we care about, is fractured, so we can't lose that at this point. Again, another reason why I like to have fractured prefix. And then we're going to come in, and we're going to do add and remove life so this is going to add a life mod again there can only be two so it can either be regenerate per flat life per second or increased life regeneration rate there is nothing else this can be and it's going to take away a prefix well the only prefix it can take away is armor all the suffixes cannot be changed so again completely inconsequential so let's hit it hope we get lucky we didn't get lucky you can see here we got stuck with the uh, regenerate now obviously at this point you can remove the craft and you can try and annul it or you can well it depends how you feel if you got like tier ones you probably want to try and annul it you might as well try and annul it generally anyway but you're going to have to put your suffixes cannot be changed back on which again costs you a little bit more currency uh for the sake of the video i'm just going to undo it as you saw when I first started rolling this, however, with the essences, getting to this point where you have your chaos resistance and your fire resist is basically pennies. It's so cheap. Getting back to that point is pretty much free. The suffixes cannot be changed is a little costly. And this add and remove, it's not that costly, really. Um, and it's quite easy to farm the juice for this. So I would say it's kind of free as well. So we're basically going to hit it until we get an increased life regeneration rate. We're getting kind of unlucky here. We keep hitting the other one. The weight is pretty much the same. <laughs> Not that it would show it. There we go. 
21% increased life regeneration rate. We've got a tier one max row life regeneration rate. These boots already at this point are worth quite a lot of currency. We have our T1 Chaos Res, T2 Fire Res, and our T1 Increased Life Regeneration. Now, I'm not going to pretend that RNG isn't a factor. As you saw, we went through a good couple of, um, a good couple of unlucky uh, Regenerate Flat Life. As you can see, it has about two or 3,000 more overall weight than our Increased Life Regeneration Rate, which is unfortunate. But now we're at this stage. When it comes to doing the, the last prefixes part, we don't have to worry about our max life, right? We've, we've gone through the struggle of this part, and now the prefix is basically set, because the only thing we need to do now is get the movement speed on our boots. And the, re the way that I do that is we're going to go back into our prefixes, hit the suffixes cannot be changed, craft. Now, obviously, we want to get rid of our annoying little... Uh, plus seven armor because we don't want to end up in a situation where uh where we have you know completely full stuff because then we just have to get rid of it but it's not that big of a deal so long as you don't have any uh, uh, implicit eldritch uh stuff on your gear you can actually craft the prefix it's relatively easy like, let's take that craft off actually we don't need to do that craft yet so we're going to use an exarch anything it doesn't matter which now because we have this exarch thing it means that we can use the uh, Eldritch currency, which if the Searing Exarch is dominant, which it is, because we just put that little ember on, remove a prefix modifier, and obviously if the Eater of Worlds, it gets rid of a suffix. Now, because we have the uh, Searing Exarch as the dominant one, we can use any of these, like the Chaos Orb will reroll our prefixes, the Exalted Orb will add a prefix, the Enol will remove a prefix, so we can actually do this pretty much for free, just a null. There we go. It gets rid of the one we didn't want. There is no other outcome with Eldritch Currency. That's just how it works. If you wanted to, sometimes it's cost efficient, but these Chaos Orbs tend to get really expensive. You can just hit these and it will basically re-roll your prefixes. And you can do that until you get something crazy, which is pretty good, you know? But sometimes, you know, most of the time you kind of get Look, it's schemazing us really bad. It's not, it's not giving us anything. It's not giving us anything. There we go. So as you can see, <laughs> it's not really worth using these in my opinion, but we'll use the, uh, the, the, the Exarch. I was going to say exploit, but it's not an exploit. It's just a little strategy there to just clear off our, our prefixes. And then we're going to craft again. Suffixes cannot be changed because that's what we want to protect. Now, depending on your financial in-game situation and the league state, the way I go from here is I will actually use a Veiled Orb. Now, a Veiled Orb early into the league is only like one divine. Um, after about a week, it's about three to four divines. After about two weeks, it's about five to eight divines. After about a month, it's like 10, <laughs> 10 divines. And after that, it's like 15 divines per Veiled Orb. So it's entirely up to you if you think it's worth doing. The reason I do it is because, you know, this is how we basically get tier one movement speed without any kind of faffing around. So we'll get our Veiled Orb. We tack it on. It's a prefix. Of course it is. The only thing that it can be. And then we're going to craft. We're going to craft uh, life and armor because we don't really want that. And then we just unveil. And there we go, 27% increased movement speed. If you haven't been hit, you get an additional 11%, might as well. I personally prefer the Onslaught version of this because, you know, I feel like well, that gives you, you know, speed increase even without, um, without actually not having to be hit. So, but any of these is basically your T1 movement speed. Fantastic. And then, you know... We have one one mod left for a craft, and what I will usually craft is increased flat defenses. All right, and there we have it. We have an 800 armor pair of boots. It has tier one life. It has tier one movement speed. It has tier one chaos resist. It has tier two fire resist. It could be tier one if you take that little bit of extra time to make sure you get it. We have tier one increased life regeneration rate, and we have an increased uh, tier one craft for, you know, additional increased armor on our boots. And that is basically a boots that people will pay, you know, 
anywhere up to like 30 plus divines for depending on you know what you get and if you you get high rolls and all of that and then obviously you can put your eldritch currency on later to fill up whatever kind of implicits you need and that's the boot craft that's what it is that's how i do my boots hopefully you found that helpful and then we'll jump on to the gloves all right so now we're at the gloves i'm gonna make a quick disclaimer here this isn't how i actually put my gloves together um when i made my gloves i was a bit dumb uh, I bought a uh, fractured increased life regeneration rate early on for like 10 divines, kind of overly expensive. Um, and I crafted my suffixes and I was like, oh, I just really need these suffixes. I didn't really put too much thought into it. And uh, a couple of exalted orbs later, nothing really happened. I was like, screw it. I'm going to suffixes cannot be changed even, you know, and then reforge um, defenses, and oh no, it was add defenses, and it gave me tier one percent increased armor. And then I hit it with an exalted orb, and it gave me tier one life. And then I just crafted on it. Um, wouldn't recommend. That was ridiculous RNG luck. So the way I'm going to go through with it this time is going to be pretty much the same way that we did the boots. Right, so just like the boots, we're going to go with the Leviathan Gauntlets. These were added as a part of the League, and they're just substantially better than anything that came before it. So we're going to be using these for the physical defense. And then just like we did with, uh, with our boots, we're going to go for that T1 Life Fracture, because it's, it's cheap, you know, especially later on in the League. These are nothing. Early on, you, you'll have to make do with whatever. Ideally, you just want to make sure you have the suffixes. And then we'll make it yellow, just like we did before. Then we're going to go over to essences, just like we did before. Deafening essence of envy to get our T1 chaos resist. And you'll realize that this is pretty much the same as what we did last time. We're just going to keep hitting this until we get, uh, we get our resistance with, you know, a tier one um, resistance and no other suffix. And we'll just basically keep tapping these in. These are basically really cheap casts. They don't cost very much. If you don't need fire res and you want uh, like a dexterity, you can wait until you get like a T1 dexterity roll. That's not a bad idea either. So we'll just keep pumping this out. Tier 3, don't want to settle on tier 3. Come on. Come on, make with the elemental resistances. That's pretty good. Some nice dexterity. We don't want that. See, that would be, that would be, you could settle on that if you wanted to for a while. Some dexterity, some chaos resistance, increased life. Anyone's playing my build, they'll know dexterity is a pain in the backside. Come on, where's the resistances? Come on. It doesn't take that long. Generally. Come on. It's going to take forever now. It's literally going to take forever now for some reason. Come on. I might have rolled over it once. <laughs> but basically, you know, we just we just tap our way through this until we get a... That's pretty nice. You could settle on that too. There we go. We've got a tier 2 fire resistance. We don't have to change this using the harvest craft like we did last time. We've got tier 1 there, tier 2 there. Same as we're going to do before. We're going to, you know, we've got the extra prefix. That doesn't matter because we'll clear those later. We're going to craft... Uh, suffixes cannot be changed, bonk, and then we go into our harvest crafting, add and remove, life. Now the only suffix, the only mod we can add is a suffix, which is basically going to be either increased flat life or increased percent life regeneration rate, which is what we want, just like the boots. Boom, there we go. Tier 1, increased life regeneration rate. You have fairly good odds at getting this, so you shouldn't spend too much making sure. If you fail it, you just go back to the first step at using the essence so that you get your chaos res and your element res. It's pretty quick and easy to do. Very, very cheap. Doesn't cost anything. Then we're basically going to come into this. And just like the boots, there's a few different ways of doing this. You can... Uh, we'll clear off, clear off our thing, so we'll do suffixes cannot be changed again. Hit it with like a scour. Suffixes cannot be changed again. And now you can either do a number of different ways. So the best way to do this, I'll get to that in a second. 
This is the first way you can do, which is suffixes cannot be changed and you use add and remove and we'll add ourselves a defense. Or we can re, I wouldn't reforge necessarily. You can reforge, but if you block off all the prefixes, you're kind of screwed. So, you know, add and remove a defense. Boom. We get rid of that. We get a dodgy armor roll. It's kind of meh, you know. You can do it that way if you want to guarantee that you're going to get a defense, but there's not really a whole lot of prefixes to get. So the best way of doing this is you go and get your Eldritch Implicit. You put a little ember on, which means that all these uh, Eldritch currencies are basically just going to hit nothing but um, prefixes. And then we can play with these going back and forth. Now, the reason is because there's not very many prefixes to get. It's quite quick to get something good. And what we want to get here, ideally, is increased percent armor like tier one or tier two, something that's better than crafted. So, you know, we'll annul off that tier six. We'll put on this one. We've gone up to tier five. We'll annul it off. We'll exalt it back on. Tier seven, got unlucky. Take it off. Put it on. Sometimes you will get some of these damage ones, which are kind of poo-poo. But we just have to we just have to go through it. Increase rarity. Not today. That's not too bad, but we don't we don't need that. We want we want big armor. See, that's not too bad either, but it's not what we want. So we just keep going back and forth until we get a, a tier one or tier two percent increased armor. Now these can get quite expensive if you just get really unlucky, mostly because the uh, the annuls are quite pricey. The exalteds are basically free, so. But again, it's cheaper than it's cheaper than uh. You know, crafting suffixes cannot be changed. There we go. We'll just say we just got a tier three one there. That's whatever. You can keep going until you get tier one. And then what I basically do after that is I just craft incre uh, increased damage while we are using a potion. And the re uh, while we're using a flask. Sorry, wrong game, wrong game. While we're using a flask. And the reason I do that is because we're always using our flask because our flask replenish when we're hit and we're always being hit. So, you know, can I even find it? Can I even find it? Can I even find it? Ah! See, so yeah, basically, basically, you can just, um, you can just basically, you know, use whatever you want here. You've got a, an open slot for crafting, so you can have it like damage while leeching or increased attack speed if you want or feel like you need to. Or you can put, you can put, uh, what am I looking on stat? No, no wonder I can't find it. I'm looking on a completely the wrong place. My bad. Ignore ignore all of that. You can put on, you know, increased damage of flask effect, which is what I do. You could put on armor and life if you want more, you know. There's all of those options, you know, you've got the socketed AoE gems and all that good stuff. Now, the next way of doing this is slightly different. And the reason being is because, um, unlike before, let me just, let me just craft off of here so we can, we can, stuff is, it can't be changed and we'll scour it. And the other version is basically we just uh, suffixes cannot be changed, and then we hit it with a ve uh, veiled orb, and then we'll put something like uh, armor and life on the prefix, so that we we try and block this. But there's a lot of prefixes it can roll, so it, it's it's kind of like there's a lot of defensive ones, sorry, and offensive ones with the veiled prefix. We can end up getting. I think the biggest weight is in like attack ones where you just get random, you know, damage uh, conversion and then just like flat damage stuff like that. They don't really do anything like that, but this is the best option because if you get, um, it basically lets you get the T1 version of the uh, damage while using a potion. So we'll pop on some armor and life, just whatever tier, it's just so that we can't get it again. And then we just unveil Boosh. Now we didn't get it this time. You know, we've got the additional uh, piercing and socketed projectile gems. Some people might find that useful. But basically, this is the expensive way to finish. You know, like we didn't get it then. So we'll just go back, clear the prefixes. Go to the suffixes cannot be changed. Try again. Craft again. Unveil. And then we got, you know, 9% increased of area effect. This is quite a good one. People like this one. Increased level of socket AOE gems. That's quite a good one. And you can basically do that until you get your T1 preference. And then when you get that, you will, instead of the other, my preferred method, which is basically um, rolling for the increased percent armor, we'll just craft it, right? We'll just craft, uh, 
increase percent armor and it's up to 74 it's not as good as the natural one which is why i like to roll it but you still got a 800 defense pair of gloves and like i said it's pretty much the same thing that we did when we did the boots and that's how i do my boots and gloves so hopefully you found this interesting and or helpful uh, if you've got anything else you want to see please let me know in the comments below if this was helpful let me know too and if you have any other questions or things that I didn't address or you weren't too sure about, just leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you again in the next video.